Imagine a world where women have control over their sexual and reproductive health. Imagine a world where every child has access to education, whether boy or girl. Imagine a world where men know it is okay to cry, but not okay for making a woman cry. Imagine a world without patriarchy. Imagine a world where young girls could walk to school and back without being afraid of sexually harassed and raped. A world where young girls get to unleashing their full potentials and not drop out of school because of teenage pregnancies. Imagine a world where women of all shapes and sizes feel beautiful. Informed by patriarchy, media and fashion industry create and promote image of female beauty which is unrealistic, over-sexualized and unhealthy. I imagine a world where healthy is the new beautiful. Imagine a world where lesbians, bisexuals, gays, transgenders and intersex human beings are no longer oppressed and abused because of their sexual orientation. Imagine a world where every woman has control over her own fertility. Every day, women with disabilities worldwide are being sterilized without their consent. This is not only a grave violation of their human rights, but also causes them lifelong suffering. Patriarchy has defined the color of a woman. It has said that a man should be dark and that a woman should be light. And this has led to a multi-billion dollar industry of bleaching. I am here to say that my skin color does not define me. I am dark and I am beautiful. And I want every woman to be proud of her skin color. So when I completed teacher training college, I wanted to go into contest for a leadership position within my community. So in discussion with other people, some were of the view that, no, when you go into contest to lead men within this community, other men will be afraid to come in to marry you because at the moment you are not married. So wait until you get married before you can contest for such positions. And other people too were also of the view that, no, you have your senior brother who is a man and he can lead a community. So why don't you encourage your brother to contest rather than going in for it to, to contest yourself? So then I told them, I made them to understand that what men can do, women can equally do, and even better. So I went ahead to discuss it with my father. He encouraged me, but psychological at that time, I was not ready to go in. Until when I completed my university, then that I went into contest and I won my lesson, and I'm a community leader today. Imagine the world where leaders are chosen based on their merit, not on their race, class, or sex. I imagine a world where girls have the power to make their own decisions, where they have the right to direct their own development, where they can live without being discriminated against just because they are girls, where they can live without the fear of being married off at an early age. In Nepal, 40.7% of girls are married before the age of 18. I'm working towards creating a world where girls are taught that impossible is nothing, that they are complete by their own virtue, and that they can be the agents of change. I imagine a world where fathers and sons stand up against patriarchy and teach their daughters that they have the right to live their lives their own way. I had been to a meeting once. It was organized by a group of businessmen who wanted to discuss women on boards. But the chairperson of that meeting, he ran up what I considered a very offensive joke at the expense of women. According to him, oh, he doesn't mind having women on his boards because he likes to take the credit for the work they do. He gets to take the credit for their work. I was appalled by this. Men, women, everybody in that auditorium laughed at our expense. We work, they get to take the credit. That's a part of patriarchy I would never like to see again. Imagine a world where women have control over their sexual health. A world where women are able to say no to unsafe sex. 
Every day women are getting infected with HIV simply because they cannot negotiate for safe sex. A decision on whether a condom should be used during se sexual intercourse is usually made by the male partner. This puts women at risk, especially if the male partner is HIV positive. I would love to see a world where women have total control over their sexual health. Imagine a world where every girl has access to education, where girls seeking education are not victims to reprisals. Imagine a world where every woman is economically able to cater for her needs and those of her families. That world is possible with you and I.